G'day everyone, Greeny here. You're watching Wild Aussie Adventures and welcome to the Pilbara. Pilbara is an area located in the north of Western Australia and covers a massive area of over 500,000 square kilometres. To put that into perspective, that's larger than the entire state of California and over twice the size of the entire United Kingdom. The area has a low population of only around 50,000 residents and has become best known for its mineral rich earth of which a huge mining industry is formed. Here you can see huge volumes of iron ore being transported on what seems like endless carriages. But the area provides a lot more than just a powerful mining industry. Its rich iron ore earth gives the landscape the most incredible red coloration and, in my opinion, some of the most spectacular sceneries in the country. This incredible landscape that makes up the Pilbara began to form more than 3.6 billion years ago, making it one of the most ancient landscapes on Earth. This iron-rich rock, which gives it its distinct red coloration, formed prior to the existence of oxygen and life itself. The area is mostly arid, however, waterways in the area have spent billions of years eroding into the ancient rock and have formed some of the most spectacular gorges in Australia. And this is where my focus will be for this episode. These gorges provide the perfect habitat to maintain many different species in the area. Many provide a permanent water source, as well as deep cracks for shelter and relief from extreme temperatures, which can see summer highs often reach above 40 degrees Celsius. Although, goannas such as this ridgetail monitor will often not only tolerate these extremely high temperatures, but actually seem to prefer them. Here, it's completely exposing itself in the open, in an attempt to absorb as much heat as it can from the sun on its rock escarpment. Ridgetail monitors get their name from the large, keeled scales that run along their tail, which you can see here. This unique adaptation is perfectly suited for life amongst the rocks where they use these ridges to help secure them into tight crevices so predators would struggle to pull them out. Ridgetail monitors have plenty of natural predators in the wild. Birds of prey such as wedgetail eagles and kites or carnivorous mammals such as quolls and dingoes. But now with introduced species like cats and foxes wreaking havoc on Australian ecosystems, they now have even more to be concerned about. The lizard looks around, keeping close watch of its surroundings, always alert when basking in the open like this. It decides the risk isn't worth the profit it's gaining from the now patchy sunlight as cloud cover rolls in. It heads back towards the edge of the escarpment, where it knows it can find shelter in the large cracks along the eroding rock ledges. It first spends some time investigating this large crack heading vertically downwards. While suitable, not completely ideal, surely there's better options nearby something tighter it can use to compress its body in and lock itself in place with that spiky tail.
let's see what's further up. Surely there's better options close by. Yep, this will do perfect. A nice snug fit to bunker down for the night. It's not always the large and obvious animals that are predators in these areas, however. The lizards themselves are also predators to animals smaller than them. Here, a tenotus or striped skink is patiently waiting for its next victim. The grasshopper hangs to small sticks and twigs far from the rock ledge in an attempt to keep its distance from the lizard. However, skinks are nimble and it soon makes short work, climbing over the tiny, thin branches. The skink latches the grasshopper in its small but powerful jaws, dragging it back to the much more stable rock ledge. Grasshoppers are tough though. Their hard exoskeleton isn't easy for the Tenota skink to bite through. A struggle persists. The grasshopper desperately tries to hang on to life, while the skink repeatedly tries to break through the hard casing. The skink flips the grasshopper over, revealing its much more delicate underside. Here, the lizard continues to chew on the grasshopper, hoping to break through. This process is repeated over and over again. The lizard knows with enough persistence, it will eventually kill the insect. However, the grasshopper still refuses to give up. Both animals are becoming exhausted. The lizard's putting all its force into those hard bites, trying to suffer a fatal blow, while the grasshopper desperately hopes the skink will give up soon. Unfortunately for the grasshopper, the relentless persistence from the skink has become too much. The skink suffers a final, fatal blow to the insect's head before dragging it back to the shelter of its rock crevice to eat. Pilbara Gorges are an amazing space to immerse yourself in. How incredible is this tiny rock pillar, no wider than my hand, holding up a huge and heavy rock stack above it. Some of nature's most impressive work. This unique landscape has become home to a wide variety of endemic species, animals that live nowhere else in the world. One of which is the Southern Pilbara Rock Monitor, a relatively small species of goanna found only along the Hammersley Ranges in the southwest of the Pilbara region. These lizards have evolved to life amongst the rocky gorges of the Pilbara. Their sharp claws and long tails make them sensational climbers, able to scale vertical cliff faces with ease. However, like most lizards in the region, they find security and comfort amongst the tight rock crevices. This male rarely needs to venture far. His home is sitting in the perfect position where he only has to move just outside his crevice on the shallow rock ledge to bask in the direct sun. As well as this, he's also lucky enough to share his home with a girlfriend. She's just come out to his left to share in the sun with him. As you can see, their slim, narrow bodies and heads are perfectly suited to squeeze into these tight spaces, not to mention the perfect colour and pattern these lizards share with their environment. Unlike the ridgetail monitor at the start of the episode, these southern Pilbara rock monitors don't feel the need to fully expose themselves. They're able to use even just their faces to gain enough heat and energy through the day, all while staying close to the safety of their rock crevice. 
while the Ridgetail monitor was constantly on high alert, basking in the open, these rock monitors feel comfortable enough to even close their eyes and sleep, as their amazing camouflage and close home security makes them an unlikely target for predators. And if anything sounds or smells off, it's a quick slide backwards to be out of sight once more. In part two, we'll be exploring this area at night, when the Pilbara really comes alive. Stay tuned by subscribing and turning on notifications. See you then for another episode of Wild Aussie Adventures.